navigate to members. You can either select members or select member database. Select Add Member, complete the content, provide a login, and a password, which has requirements, as you can see here, must have at least eight characters must contain three of the four uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, punctuation symbols. For a date hired, use their service comp date. The member is new, therefore the member is active versus inactive. Access level grants what the individual can do as far as editing the system, which work group they're assigned to, and the employee type. The member will complete the general messaging information by providing their mobile phone, their provider, their email or email addresses, and they will also select how they want to receive notifications. You will also want to include which schedules they're permitted to work by selecting each of those schedules and then you want to include which positions that they can work. As far as the remaining content, you can complete as much as you can now as you create the new member, or you can come back to it later when they're able to provide some of this information. Once this is complete, save the information and you'll see the new member has been added to the list. And the last thing you need to do is provide the new member their username, password, and the web address for accessing the system. If you have any questions, contact the system administrator at the upper right hand corner.